Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are avid watchers of my tutorials, then you will know that I have been talking about doing an in-depth brow tutorial for oh, quite a while now. And as you can see by this video, we are finally here. So we are doing how to get these slayed snatched brows. And I always do it with no makeup on, so clearly I'm looking ratchet. But I am actually just about to leave for Toronto, so I'm gonna finish getting ready, finish packing, and then go ahead to my train. So I'm super excited for that little work trip with my girls so super pumped um but yeah if you guys want to see how I got these brows then just keep on watching okay guys welcome back so yeah we're gonna just jump right in to this little brow tutorial as you can see my eyebrows are literally a hot mess okay over the years I've over plucking because it was really really in the trend to apparently have sperm eyebrows I really don't know why but that was the thing disgusting not about it but yeah so finally after like five years of trying to grow them out we're here this is where we're at um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can really see so I look completely naked sorry about that um, anyways these are my little eyebrows and yeah they have sort of got the tail back but as you can see Right here I have a little bit of like a space going on, so there's not much hair there, so I usually fill it in. So a couple of things that you're going to need is obviously your eyebrow product. Now it doesn't have to be the one that I'm using, I just prefer this one just because it really does last on the face all day and it doesn't run out really quickly. Like I used to be ride or die for the brow is. I do really love the brow definer and precisely my brow from Benefit. Like I love a bunch of different brow products, but this one right here... This little pomade from Anastasia is honestly just so good. It lasts forever. You need the tiniest amount. It just glides on. I never have any issues with this. It's just so, so good. This little product right here, if you use it every day consistently, should last you at least one year. If it does not, you are using way too much product. I will tell you that right now. When you think you have enough product and then you narrow it down to a little bit, you probably still have too much. So I'm going to show you literally in depth how to use this step by step and I love using it with the Anastasia number 12 brush this is the best brow brush ever it's a really really nice fine and thin and stiff has a little spoolie on the end which I love so so good and then you're going to need a concealer I love using the NARS soft matte concealer it's really really great to carve out the eyebrows and make them super super snatched because it's not really creamy so it really does a good job of staying where you need it to stay and then I will be using my Morphe S6 which is just an angled brush to carve them out so yeah that's pretty much all you'll need I do use a brow gel I use the Anastasia clear brow gel it is my ride or die it is literally like super glue for your eyebrows no joke it's so so good I'm obsessed with it you don't necessarily need the brow gel but I just like it because mine are crazy they're crazy eyebrows so I need them to stay where I want them to stay so yeah without any further ado Let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to note with this is if you leave this open, it will dry out, I promise you that, which means it will not last you a whole year. So, you're going to want to open the thing, take your little brush, I usually like dip one, two, three times, just a little bit, and then I close it right away. Now, I am used to putting makeup on the back of my hand just because it's what I do on a daily basis. However, if you don't want to, you can always put it right on the cap and it will just wash right up with like a makeup wipe or something. But because I'm used to putting it on the back of my hand, I like it. The heat from my hand kind of warms up the product, so I'm going to keep doing it like that. And I just place it on the back of my hand just like that. That should be all that you need. I mean, maybe more depending on how thick you want to do your eyebrows, but... We'll see how I'm feeling today. Either way, a little goes a very long way with this product. You want to wipe it off, go back and forth, kind of like this, switch both sides, and make sure you're taking off all the excess products, okay? So I'm just going to make sure all my hairs are brushed upward. And as you guys may see, I do not have any makeup on right now. I always do my eyebrows first so that I can clean them up with a concealer and then blend the rest down on my eyelid to prime for any shadow. If I'm going in with anything like more dramatic that day, then I'll always do my eyeshadow first. So if I have my brows and my eyes done, I don't want to have my face done yet. So there we go. So anyways, I'm just going to take a little bit from the back of my hand, 
put it on both sides of the brush and then start to work it onto my brow. So I usually start from about here and I'm going to slowly start to trace underneath of my brow really lightly and then once I get to here just following that arch just like so. So now you have the back arch kind of filled in and I'm going to take whatever's left on here and lightly bring it forward as much as I can. And I'm making a straight line underneath there. So there, you have the bottom of your brow kind of carved out. So now I'm going to go in and get a little bit more product. Still, look at how much I have on my hand. Okay. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So boom, now you're going to want to try to make the shape underneath as even as possible. Remember, everyone says it. Everyone their mom says it. My brothers or sisters not twins, sometimes mine are distant cousins, sometimes mine aren't even related, but what can you do? You just swing it, and half the time, you're the only one that notices it, I promise you that. So same thing, take whatever's left and bring it forward here. Oh yeah, so now you can see both of the under brows are filled in, they're good to go. I'm taking a little bit more product now, and this is where it gets awesome, okay? So you're going to see kind of where your hair already goes. So right here is kind of where I need to make my brow parallel, okay? So I'm going to start from about here, and I'm going to start working it over. So now I'm getting that parallel line right here. It's not going too much higher than my brow hair actually already is. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more product. And I'm going to start to make that arch. So I'm stopping about right there. Because I know that's where my brow is naturally going to arch, okay? But if you don't know, and you don't have any eyebrows at all, because some people don't, you're going to want to take your little brush here, and you're going to want to line it up to the end of your nostril and go straight upward. And this is where your brow should always start. This is point A, okay? Next, you're going to keep it at the same starting point from that nostril, and you're going to go right through the pupil. And that should be right where you're going to arch that brow, okay? And you can tick it. You can make, like, a little tick mark if you want to note it. But once you do it every day, you'll really get the hang of it. Then you're going to start from that same position, and you're going to go all the way here to the end of your eye, and that should be where your brow ends. Okay? So mine's doing pretty good. We're going to keep moving on. So once I get here, I'm going to start to come down and just connect the line there. And boom, that's your shape. So you guys can probably see it's outlined. You have a little bit of bareness in there, but that's okay. That's the shape that we want. So I'm going to grab a little bit more product and I'm going to start filling in that bareness and I'm going in the same direction that my hair naturally goes. And use this spoolie, it is your friend, you want to brush through. And then once I have the end kind of filled in, I'm going to take whatever's left and start brushing it through. And then I'm going to brush that through. So now you see we're getting that tail end shape. Doing the exact same thing on the other side. Taking more product and filling it in. Taking a little bit more product. I'm going to lightly drag a little bit of product right there. Just outlining the top.
and I'm going to just start flicking upward. This is going to create the appearance of little brow hairs. Once you start to brush it up, it will start to blend a little bit and then you'll see where you have to add a little bit more. So next up, taking that concealer and that angled brush and I am going to grab a little bit and put it onto the back of my hand so it's coated on both sides of the brush and I'm going to start I'm going to move up a little bit I'm going to start from right underneath the brow here and just start to drag it underneath okay and now you can see I'm just dragging the leftover product downward slightly So boom, you can already see the difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. It's a lot more like snatched. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Same thing, coat both sides of the brush and start. So not only is the concealer part great for cleaning up the eyebrow, but it's also good if you have like any hairs that you haven't had a chance to pluck yet and you still want that snatched eyebrow look. It really helps to con conceal like leftover hairs. So I love that part. Okay, next, this is optional. Some people only carve out the bottom, but honestly, if I do my eyebrows uneven, I like to carve out the top as well. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer and start doing the same thing, but on the top of the eyebrow. So boom, now we have that brow carved out, looking great. I'm going to take whatever's left over here and just blend it right here. So now we have one done brow. On to the next. This one looks a lot like this one now, so I'm just going to lightly do this one. So honestly, that's it. Boom. That is how I do my eyebrows almost every single day. Now some days when I don't have time to sit here and do my eyebrows for at least 10 minutes, I will do my entire face first. And this is for days where I'm usually not doing a lot of makeup and I'll just like lightly fill in my eyebrows with like a pencil or something. But this is like my in-depth like slayed, snatched Instagram brow brow. So the last step usually for me is taking my little clear brow gel literally looks just like a little mascara wand and I'm going to run that through my eyebrows I'm literally almost out of this I have to get some this weekend or this week actually but I'm just running it in the same direction of the hairs basically it just helps them stick down and look a little bit more natural just brush up at the front and start to brush over So, boom, that is it for this brow tutorial. If you guys want to see more in-depth tutorials like this, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking of doing, like, an in-depth, like, how to put on fake lashes and an in-depth how to do wing liner. I'm thinking of doing, like, a how-to series. So, just let me know down in the comments below and like this video if you did like it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.